Hello guys, in this video we are going to be working on grade 9 question paper for maths paper 2. So this is maths paper 2, grade 9 question paper. So please make sure that you watch the video until the end so that you can understand how to answer this set of questions. So if we check here, we can see that we are given, we are given instructions and information. So, this is, so these are our instructions. These are our instructions. So we can see that we are told that this paper consists of six questions. And we are told to answer all the questions on the question paper. And a non-programmable calculator may be used unless stated otherwise. And we are also told that clearly show all calculations. So all calculations needs to be shown. And then we are also told that if necessary, round off your answer to two decimal places unless stated otherwise okay and then we are told that diagrams are not necessarily drawn to scale and we are told that answer question one by circling the letter next to the correct answer so guys this is the question paper and the memorandum this is the question paper and the memorandum and guys please subscribe to the channel and comment with your province and then i will come to your comment and paste the question paper together with the memorandum of your profits but first subscribe and then once you are done subscribing just comment with your say subscribed and then mention your profits so you can say subscribe and say how to and then i will come and paste the paper for how to on the comment and for you to subscribe is that when we post new content you are also notified okay so now let's go ahead and start working on our first set of questions so these are the answers for question these are the answers for question one right so this will help you prepare for your final examinations so if you check you can just come here and read the question so we can see here that we are told that answer the following questions by circling the correct answer and circle the letter next to the correct answer so we are told that angle b and angle theta are created by two intersecting straight lines. What are these angles called? So these are called vertical opposite angles. So you just come here and check C. So you answer the question like this. And even if you check your memo, you can see that question 1.1, the correct answer is, is C. So these are vertical opposite angles. So that's how I want you guys to practice. So you check here. You check, you come and read your question, and then you check the options, and then you you use, um, so you check which one is the correct answer, and then come and confirm here. So if we check the second one, we can see that we are told that BCD is a straight line. BCD is a straight line. So now we are told to study the diagram below and decide which of the statement given below is true. Right? So we can see that the answer is, the answer is C. And what does C say? C says that angle C2, so angle C2 is equals to angle A and angle B. Angle A and angle B. And that's correct, right? And what do we call this in mathematics? We call this exterior angle. So these are exterior angles. Exterior angles. Okay? And then that's how we should answer these questions okay so now we will jump to question we'll jump to question even if we check question 1.4 before we move to our next question we can see that we are given our r so this r that you are seeing here stands for radius so this is our radius so our radius is the point from the middle to the edge and the question says that identify the correct formula for the area the answer is a this is the correct formula so that's how you should approach these questions this is how you should approach these questions okay and then now we will move to our next question which is question two this is question two so we do have um, the memo on the side so please guys make sure that you start by practicing and then come and check whether what you did is correct or not and then come and check whether what you did is correct or not so here um we are told so if we check question two i'm just going to do the first one it says that straight lines a b and cm intersect at m 
and m1 is equals to m2 so these both sides are are equal and you know the guys that if we have a perpendicular line it means that this side will be 90 degrees and this side will also be 90 degrees so now we are asked what is the size of m1 like i said guys it will be 90 degrees even if we check our answer we can see that the answer is 90 degrees so that's how you should answer these questions right that's how you should answer these questions so if i'm moving too fast you can just pause the video and practice first and then once you are done you can just come and check your answer and see if what you did is correct okay and then now we'll move to question 2.2 so question 2.2 question 2.2 oh yeah it, it started here it's 2.2 and then these are the solutions for question 2.2 so you can go through it and then once you're done you can just come and verify whether what you did is correct or not okay so yeah these are the answers for question 2.2 these are the answers for question 2.2 so if you think i'm moving too fast you can just pause the video and then you work out and then you come and check whether what you did is correct or not so guys this is the most efficient methods method that will help you understand and remember what you are practicing and remember what you are practicing because you practice by by doing so if you are just looking and not writing anything down it will be difficult or hard for you to get it right in the exam right and then this is question 2.3 and then these are the answers for question 2.3 so it's question 2.3.1 and 3.2.3.2 and and then next, we will move to question three. So question three says that complete. So here we are told that um, the exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum is equal to the sum of the interior is equal to the sum of the interior opposite angles. So this is sum. Here you come and write sum, as you can see on the memo, and then here you write opposite. Here you write opposite okay and then question 3.2 you do the same thing you read your question and then check what you are given and then you answer your questions and you can see here so you try and then after trying you just come and check what is on the memo you come and check what is on the memorandum okay so the same for question 3.4 so let me just move here so that you can be able to access the memorandum. So even on question 3.4, you do the same, right? You read and then you check what the correct answer is, right? So this will help you see how our exam questions are set, okay? So now we will move to question 3.5. So question 3.5, we can see that we are given a day. So we are given a statement which says that in the following diagram, set GHT, is a quadrilateral as such that um, ZG is parallel to TH. So these two lines means parallel. The two lines means parallel. And ZE is equals to GE. So we are given those. And then now we are told to prove. So if we check, we can see that we are given our answer. So please try it first. And then once you are done, you can then check whether what you did is correct. So we are given our answer and the reasons as well. So this is vertical opposite angles. Okay. So guys, remember that whenever you are working with angles, remember the fun rule. Fun rule. I'm sure we all know what the fun rule is. So this will help you answer your set of questions. Okay. So we do the same for 5.2.2. So if I'm moving too fast, guys, you can just pause the video and then work practice. And then once you're done practicing, you can just continue. So even question four, we follow the same approach. Even for question four, we follow the same approach. We follow the same approach. Okay. And once done, we move to our next question. So we can see that we have our questions and our answers. So this is question 4.2 and the answer for that is translation because all the vertical all the vertices in shape a slide 
um, four units upwards and two units to the left. Okay. And then once we are done, we move to question 4.3. And this is our answer for question 4.3. So this will help you practice and understand. Okay. Because we have answers for each and every question. Okay. And then once we are done with question 4, we then move to question 5. We then move to question 5. And you can see your answers for question 5 as well. And then once you are done with question 5, uh, this is still there. We are still in question 5. So this is question 5.2 and the solutions for question 5.2 is here as well. Once we are done with that, we move to question 6. So question 6, we can see that we are told to name the objects shown below. So this is a triangular prism. This is a triangular prism. And then this is a cylinder as we can see here. Okay. And then um, question 6.2, you can see that this is how it is answered. And the correct answer is 700 meter squared. And then our last question will be question 6.3, which is requiring us to find the volume. And this is the volume of the, this is the formula of the volume that you guys need to understand. Okay. And that brings us to the end of our question. Again, guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that so subscribe and once you're done, tell me your province as well. So say subscribed and then name your province. If you're in free state, say subscribed and then say free state. And then once you're done doing that, I will come and paste the link to the paper that you will be writing for your province. Okay.